What's up guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about anxiety and physical numbness. If you've ever dealt with numbness due to your anxiety, do me a huge favor, hit the like button down below so this video can get out to more people and we can spread awareness. So first I'm gonna talk about my experience with this physical numbness. It was a very scary ordeal for me, um, but know that you're not alone. It's very, very common. And then we're gonna talk about how anxiety can actually cause this, which a lot of you are probably interested in. Um, I needed to understand how anxiety could cause these symptoms for me to actually accept it. And even then, it was still a difficult process. And many of you trying to accept anxiety uh, for the reason that you're having these symptoms, you know it's a difficult process. So hopefully this video can give you a little bit of reassurance, okay? So my experience with it, it started with my first panic attack. I had quite a few symptoms with that first attack. Uh, it started with fast heart rate, you know, palpitations, then my body got tight, a lot of tension in different areas. Most importantly, it was in my chest area. Then I had chest pain. Then something followed and it was numbness. Never had I ever in my life experienced anything like this. The only time I've ever experienced numbness in my arms or legs or anything like that was if I sat on something weird or if I was laying on something whenever I would sleep. Never in my life had any parts of my body just gone numb. Um, and I certainly at this time did not know that anxiety or panic could cause this. So I'm thinking something physically is wrong with me. So I jump on Google, I type in all my symptoms, and sure enough, it says that I'm having a heart attack at the age of 19. That's when my cardiophobia started, and my health anxiety lasted for five years. Uh, not only did I think that this numbness was associated with heart attacks, especially since 75% of the time my left arm would go numb or something on the left side of my body would go numb. Um, I also feared things like strokes, okay? And I knew that numbness was associated with that. I feared neurological diseases like MS, and I knew that sometimes numbness could be associated with that. So it plagued me, it plagued my health anxiety. Anytime I would have a panic attack, some part of my body would go numb. And like I said, guys, acceptance was very hard. It was very difficult for me to wrap my mind around the fact that anxiety could cause symptoms like this. Sure, it's easy for us to accept things like a fast heart rate or butterflies in your stomach, right? Or sweating or blushing. But when it comes to things like numbness, that's scary as crap, man. And that was probably in my top five easy, scariest symptoms of anxiety. So I would get it everywhere, guys. Like I said, 75% of the time it would be my left arm over my right arm, uh, which did not help me with my cardiophobia issues, but I would get it on the tip of my tongue, on my nose, my ears, both hands, both arms, both legs, both feet, both sets of toes. Um, sometimes even numbness would pop up in patches on different parts of my body. So if you deal with that, know that you're not alone. We hear about the extremities. So if we get numbness on our back and patches like I did, we start to freak out. We're like, this means it's something. So I know that can mess with your acceptance as well. So why is this happening? Why is this happening? First of all, if you've never gotten checked out by a doctor, do it, do it. Get that initial reassurance. If you need a second or third opinion, if you need to see a specialist, do what you got to do because you're never gonna be able to fully accept and work through your anxiety and accept that anxiety is actually causing this if you don't know for sure if anxiety is actually causing it. So do that. It took me multiple opinions, all right? I, I didn't trust the first doctor. I, I just couldn't believe that anxiety was actually doing this, particularly on my left side, okay? So why is this happening? If you're really, really anxious, and especially when you go into fight or flight, we have redirected blood flow, all right? Your body is gonna take blood from your extremities, things like your phalanges, right? So we're talking about toes, fingers, hands, our arms even, places like the tip of your nose, the tip of your tongue, to help fuel your body to get away from something or to fight something off. So blood flow is gonna go to your core, your most important muscle groups and organs, so you can achieve that. Believe it or not, that's what's happening. Also something interesting, I've read about this, you can do your own research, but it's, it's, it's almost like it's a defense mechanism in a way that if you're fighting something off, right, and you have less blood flow in these areas, you're gonna lose less blood, right, if you're scratched or if you're hit, right, and the blood flow goes to this more centralized area. Also, if you're more numb in some of these areas, you're gonna feel less pain, therefore you're gonna keep fighting, right? So that's an interesting thing to think about as well. But also, whenever you have less blood flow in things like your fingers, the tip of your nose, your feet, you can have colder temperatures. So that's associated with numbness as well. Also, you get this prickly tingling, okay? So whenever you look up tingling with numbness, 
and, it, and you, it's on your left side, you're gonna see things like heart attacks, right? Or strokes and things like that. And that's what scared the crap out of me. So if you're going through this whole ordeal, know that you're not alone. Know that anxiety can cause this. It's usually due to redirected blood flow from your extremities so it can supply uh, your major organs and more essential and vital muscle groups so you can get away or fight something off, all right? That's what's going on if anxiety is causing it. But remember, get your reassurance from a doctor. Don't put this off anymore. Please don't put this off. It's important to know so you can at least start trying to accept. And like I said, it took me multiple opinions, all right? But if you want extra help, guys, there's a couple links down below in the description. The first one's for online therapy. It's convenient. You can do it from home. If you've never seen a therapist for your anxiety, you can do it on your phone or your computer, all right? You can have that one-on-one -on -one with them. Also, I have an anxiety course. Super proud of that. It's helped so many people. Elite Anxiety Boot Camp. That's going to be down below if you want to start your recovery today, okay? So both of those things are down below. Check it out. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, the description has all my other social media. Hit the like button if you got value from this video. And guys, until next time, keep fighting.